Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about encapsulation in python programming so guys encapsulation is one of the key features in object oriented programming because encapsulation refers to the bundling of attributes and methods inside a single class so we have seen so far the various attributes and methods that we have been creating inside the class that functionality of the python programming is called encapsulation now it prevents outer classes from accessing and changing attributes and methods of a class so far we have seen that all the attributes and methods were public in nature but in this case we are going to create some private attributes which cannot be directly accessed outside the class so this also helps us to achieve data hiding over here now in python we denote private attributes using the underscore as the prefix either we can have the single underscore or the double underscore so let us check this with the help of example now over here as you can see in this example we have the class computer and then we also have the constructor that is in it followed by the self which is the parameter for that object that is being passed and then self dot max price so as you can see over here we have the prefix that is double underscore followed by max price so this is one of the attributes of this computer class over here and we are providing the value of 900 to this max price over here inside the constructor now apart from this constructor we have more couple of functions inside this class as you can see we have the sell function over here which simply prints the selling price is the self followed by dot and then the max price so basically this statement will help us in order to print this value that is the max price value of the computer and then we have another method that is set max price which takes the object that is using the self and then it also takes the price over here so in case you want to set another max price for this computer you can use this set max price function what it will do is it will simply update the value of the max price of the computer as you can see with this particular statement so guys let us check this with the help of example now what I will do is I'll simply copy these lines of code since I'm little bit lazy in order to type them again so we are going to paste it inside the VS code so over here what we are going to do is we are going to print the max price of the computer so first of all we are going to create the object that is comp1 over here followed by equal to and then we have the computer class name so basically since a constructor is not taking any other parameter apart from this self which is the object itself so we need not have to provide any parameter over here while instantiating this object that is comp1 now what we will do is simply we will call the cell function over here that is this particular function so we can use the comp comp1 object followed by dot and then we have the cell function so after this open and close parenthesis so let me just save this file now and try running this code so basically this print statement should get executed and it should be displayed on the terminal so i'll just run this code now as you can see selling price is 900 so what exactly happened is when the control flow came over here that is comp1 it is equal to computer the constructor of this class that is the init method was called and inside this what we have done is this private attribute so guys basically this double underscore denotes that this is the private attribute of the computer class so basically this private attribute was initialized inside the constructor and a value of 900 was being assigned to this particular attribute and then what we did is when the control flow came over here that is while calling the sell function basically this print statement was executed so selling price it is equal to this self dot max price got printed over here which is 900 right now now guys let us do another thing what we will do is we will try to access this private attribute from outside of this class so over here we will call comp1 once again followed by dot and then we can call this private attribute that is the max price so as you can see this max price is getting suggested by the vs code so we will call this max price and what we will do is we will try to assign another value that is thousand over here to this max price and then again let us say we want to call this print statement so again we will call this cell method over here so I'll just copy this line of code and paste this over here let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see selling price 900 this is the statement that was printed by calling the first cell method and then the second time the cell method was called again the selling price was equal to 900 so guys why so that's because this max price is the private attribute and we directly 
cannot access this attribute by using this object. We need to have another method inside the computer class in order to assign another value to the private attribute and that is why we have this method that is the set max price along with the parameter price which it is going to take in order to replace the existing max price over here. So what we can do is we are going to call the comp1 object once again followed by dot and this time instead of directly accessing this max price we are going to call this set max price over here so set max price and it is expecting two parameters the first parameter is the self which is going to be passed by default which is going to be the comp1 object and then the second parameter is the price which we are going to pass to this method so again what we will do is simply we are going to provide this thousand price that we try to assign to the max price directly over here so set max price and then again let's say we want to print the selling price over here so again we are going to call the sell method once again so comp one dot sell so over here the only difference is we are calling the method that is the set max price and we are passing the value of the new max price over here which is going to be passed to this price and then the max price value will be the updated price that we have just set so guys let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see selling price 900 and then selling price 900 once again and the third time that we tried by using the set max price over here it was 1000 so this time it is selling price it is equal to 1000 so guys by using this method in order to set the value of a private attribute we were successfully able to update the value of this private attribute and this is the main functionality which we call it as encapsulation as far as object oriented programming in python is concerned so guys let us run this code once again by a different value let's say the max price over here we set it to 2000 so let me just save this file now and try running this code so this time the selling price is coming over here once again as 2000 and guys this is the way in order to hide certain attributes of a class you can have them as the private attribute by prefixing and use the different methods in order to set their values by using the objects of that class so guys practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs Please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is method overriding in Python programming. So stay tuned.